206, 207, 208, 209, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, 210, I don't deserve to go home yet. I gotta get stronger. Stronger? Yes. Way stronger. Mr. Blodskin, you are without a doubt, pound for pound, the strongest running back that I have ever seen with my own two eyes, okay? You're strong enough, trust me. Well then, I gotta get more explosive, faster, quicker. Jackson, you dang near run a 4-2 and your stiff arms as powerful as Derrick Henry's. I don't know where all this is coming from. You are stronger, faster, quicker, and more explosive than any running back I've ever seen. I, I don't know where this is coming from. It's coming from the game today. You played like dog water. Dog water, Jackson. You had 98 yards on six carries with the if you need. Darrell, on the other hand, had 137 yards on 28 carries versus Grambling State. Oh, I mean, God. is that what's bothering you? The fact that you didn't start the game because you didn't play most of the game? Uh, I mean, because you know Coach Kelly's rule. You got to practice the whole week to start the game. This next week is a brand new week, and don't let Daryl get to you. Bruh. I heard him at Team Meal talking and showboating on FaceTime and social media talking about how well he did. Bruh. It was Grambling State, Jackson, okay? And I'm going to tell you one thing. Ain't no way we finna play real SEC games with that son bitch starting. A lot! Yes, sir. So put the weights down, rest, and make sure you're focused for this week so you can help lead us to an SEC championship and a national championship. Okay. Yes, sir. It's a marathon, son. Yes, sir. Not a race, although you would indeed be the fastest <laughs> in the race. But uh, don't let the talkers get to you. You hear me? Yes, sir, Coach Bus Control. Okay, Mr. Bloskin. I'll see you tomorrow at me, and I mean it. Get some rest and ice that knee. Yes, sir. And I promise you, you'll be closer to where you want to be. Okay? Okay, Coach Bus Control. I appreciate you for always looking out for me. Always have, always will. You're the real deal. That's a real one. Okay, Coach Rhodes, so we'll celebrate uh, the easy win today, tomorrow, after team meeting. But uh, right now, I want to dive right into Mississippi State. So what I'm thinking on special teams, uh, kick return in, in particular, is a two-man return. I'm thinking we have Jackson on one side, Tyrell on the other. What do you think? I think that's a great idea, Coach. Wonderful. Um, and what we'll do with the up back is, uh, during the return, we'll have them start in... Hell is that knocking like the police? Uh, who is it? Chef! Come cup! Come cup. Uh, can you give me a second? Second's all yours. Okay, thank you. Uh, go ahead and come on in. Come on in. Come on in. What's up, Coach Kelly? Hi. Hey, Coach Rhodes. Doing? I'm doing good. Just, uh, wanted to talk to you about something, Coach, but... You seem busy? Yes, I am, but, uh, you know, I, I got a second. Go ahead. What do you want to talk about? Um, well, what I wanted to talk to you about, you know, it's kind of like private, you know? Uh, no, I, 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 I don't know. What, what do you mean? I mean, like, it's, it's a sensitive topic, subject, so, like, I, I didn't really want to talk about it in front of Coach Rhodes. I just kind of wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one with you when I talked to you about it. <laughs> what he means, Coach Kelly? is he doesn't want me to hear what he's about to talk to you about because I guess it's secret. Okay, well, it's not really about that. I just wanted to talk to you in private, um, but whatever. Um, so what I wanted to say was we played Grambling State today and I started the season off as a second string quarterback. Now I'm like fourth, I'm guessing, because I didn't even get in today. And I'm just wondering like, if I didn't get in versus Grambling State, do I really even have a future here at LSU? <laughs> What a bitch. Excuse me? I said you're a bitch. Okay, see, this is why I didn't even want to talk in front of him. I, I just wanted answers like, like, am I going to ever play here at LSU? Come, come. <laughs> you're a fan. Yes. You'll, you'll start playing here when you start working uh, harder. Work harder? But coach, I, I, I work hard. Yes, you do. Uh, you work hard enough to play at UNT. Uh, you work hard enough to play at Akron. Uh, you work hard enough to play at Arizona, but do you work hard enough to play at LSU right now? Absolutely not, Cum Cup. Uh, you need to put in more work. Well, how much work? Because I definitely feel like I was good enough to play against Grambling State today. Like, that's insane. They suck. Like, A lot! How did I get in? Because, Cum Cup, 
You're really gonna make me say it. Come Cup, you're just not good enough right now. You were not as advertised. Um, I don't think you're a good quarterback at all right now. That's really what you think? It's what I know, Come Cup. Uh, I know you came in with five stars, but uh, I haven't seen it, son. Giving it to him straight, ain't you, coach? <laughs> okay, Coach Kelly. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. Thanks for talking to me, bitch. Hey, you shut the f up! Dirty! Uh, Dirty! Uh, Don't do it! You know I'm about to play! Uh, you know uh, You see it! A uh, lot! Thanks for your time, Coach Kelly. Little punk! I'll see you later. See you tomorrow, come cup. Keep grinding. Don't ever raise your voice at me. <laughs> <sighs> Where were we? What's good, Galizzi? Where y'all at? We at the Airbnb, getting settled in. Okay, good. Listen up closely. Change of plans. This man Daryl invited like five of his teammates to come out with us tonight, so we gonna have to find a time to jump him when I can get him alone. Okay, but Galizzi, check this out. I've been checking Daryl's IG store and all the teammates he got over there at his crib storage too. One of them said they finna go to the Future concert tonight and not the party that y'all going to. So that's five of them and there's five of us at the Airbnb alone, plus you, that's six. That's six on five, we got that. No, it's like 20 on six. Those are D1 football players inside his house. Those are not regular human beings. What? So, so, so you're saying six of us can't whoop five of them. I know we can't whoop them. Bruh. Three out of the five dudes inside ain't even got necks. It's just straight muscle. The shit is disgusting. Bruh. Okay, we street dudes. We don't, even, we don't even use hands. You know we use Nina. Okay, so tonight we gotta be precise. I'm gonna get them alone and y'all gotta be on time. Cause if it's just me and Daryl alone, like I said, he a D1 athlete. I can't whoop him. He's stronger, faster. I can't beat him up. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have to use Nina. So if you don't want me to use Nina, cause you said he got connections back home, make sure y'all on time. Don't worry, Galizzi. We gonna be on time. We gonna be outside the party, wait for you to bring Daryl outside and bring him around back. Then we gonna let you pop it off. Then we gonna jump him, right? Exactly. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And, and, and what if one of his teammates come outside with him? Then it's a board mission. We gonna have to try tomorrow. Try tomorrow? But Galizzi, it's just one of his teammates. That's six on two. Family. A lot! These dudes run into each other every day for fun. All right? If he's not alone, we leave it alone. Our punches ain't gonna have no effect on them. Okay? Do you hear me? Yeah, man. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, good. I'm gonna let you know when we leave him. Should be about a half hour. Okay, cool. Let me know. Then I'm gonna round everybody up and we out. Gone. Times was hard, times was hard, times was hard.